Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and I know I missed last week, so here's this. I've been working on this. Um, this is Group Manager. I figured it was about time that I stepped up and did uh, learn a new permissions plugin because I use PEX all the time, and honestly, this one's pretty cool. Uh, it's It works a little bit different. It has one downfall that I see over PEX, but um, it has a different layout of it. So as always, I'll have the download for what I'm doing here in the description. Feel free to download that. Uh, use that ad fly link. That helps me out a little bit. Also, uh, you know, share, comment, like, subscribe, love, comment, comment again. I don't know. But anyway, the first thing you need to do is download it. Now, it's made by the same guys as Essentials, but um, it's not grouped in with their Essentials plugin. You have to download it separately here. I'll put a link in the subscription subscription description uh, for this here. Um, and then they're also they have a really good wiki page uh, which lays everything out of how it, it works. I'm just gonna go over um, an overview of it and a bunch of in-game commands. Um, so the first thing is like any other, I'm not going to go over downloading it and putting it in a plugins folder because you guys should know how to do that. It's pretty simple. Um, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it'll bring, it'll create this folder here. We're going to go over this this one this file first, and then we're going to go over the groups uh, folder in here. Don't really need to edit this one, but you can edit. This is you know if you want specific per user permissions don't really need to do that and then this folder isn't created by default I'll show you how this folder gets created in a minute so let's open up we're gonna open up this one right here all right so this is uh, the global groups I want to call it I think for to distinguish it I, I want to call it the permissions groups the only thing you put in here is the permission nodes if you're not familiar with permissions plugins yet they will operate off of permission nodes. All plugins for every command, every action in the plugin has permission node, and you just gotta look those up. And you'll use that for giving and taking permissions to your users based upon that plugin node. So for instance, let's go down, um, this one's not that. So moderators, people who have this permissions group or the global group will have access to the slash kick command based upon this uh, permission node they can also set their own game mode um, but if you do game mode dots others now they can also sub set um, to others actually you have to create it down here you know this is just basic uh, permission nodes deal so bucket you know is distinguishes the uh, plugin that you're using that's the default one command dot game mode dot others so now that would also let them put it on others a few other things syntax and spacing is critically important on this um, don't use tabs like this is four spaces but do not use tabs use space space bar it won't recognize it and it'll mess things up the other thing to note is you can negate uh, permission nodes or negative you know subtract them using this minus sign in front of it after you do that all right so the it has a bunch of default ones by built in which is really nice kind of helps you get started um, you can modify those i will update all of this to reflect what i have set up for the prison server build and i'll release a prison server build for group manager as well as pex which is pretty cool but i created a custom group down here uh called vip just to demonstrate a few things now remember it's g colon group name colon and then down and then permissions i didn't know that i messed up a few times so we're going to skip the config file for now we're going to jump right into the groups um, this if you don't remember is in your worlds and then the world file and then groups so this is where you're going to specify the user groups in here. You can also specify per you know per group permission, but usually you want to specify that in here um, because then this groups file references the global groups or the permission groups, which you can see right here. This inheritance is where it references those global groups. So you specify the global group by using the G colon and then the group or permissions group name. Um, 
and then you can also specify a prefix. We don't, we're not using the anti-build uh, essentials plugin, so this is irrelevant and you could just get rid of it. And then suffix is what shows up after. So this is going to make the prefix, it's just going to change the name, the color, you know, their name color. But this is where if you had a prison server, you would do like C in there and it'll be like that but we're just going to leave it like so um, and then if you want to reference another group inside the groups file you would use this um, basically without the g so the g just specifies that you're referencing the global group or the permissions group whatever you want to call it and then here's our custom one that we made um, these are all built in already and i modified this one uh, so default false doesn't have any special special permissions as defined in this file but it references the uh this group and then you probably all want to do like um let's see here you do info and then uh pre no you probably want to do yeah we'll do prefix and then um vip and then i'm not going to change the color or anything like that and then that's pretty much all you need to do for that you don't need to define the suffix or anything like that but so then vip would show up in front of their name if you change this to suffix it would show up behind their name um and all that business so now let's get into the config file which is back in your base one right here right next to your global groups so the config file not a whole lot in here but um But the one thing I do want to note is this mirrors section. So this is where I feel like group manager is a little bit more complicated than PEX. But, you know, to each his own. If you like this, that's fine. So by default, this is set to, um, set to groups. So what this means is for this world, which is named world, that's the default world, it's going to copy users and group settings to world nether, world the end, and all unnamed worlds. So any new world that you define is going to be like that. So if you're using multiverse or something like that. But I want to specify separate permissions for the nether world or whatever world. Like if you have a creative world or if you have a, a game mini game world, that's where you'd specify this. Um, you don't want it to copy over groups. You probably want it to copy over user settings just so their stuff copies over but this might actually nullify using multiverse if you wipe out users then it should keep the inf user information or user data separate between the worlds i don't know i haven't tested that yet i haven't had time i'm just getting this this tutorial up i'll put a an annotation up when i test that but so then what this does is if you remove groups and you start your server again, it's that's what creates this folder right here. So you have a per world permissions group. And then I've opened that in here. So what I want to do just to show you guys how to do per world permissions is when default users are in the main or in the nether, they can do the slash home. So that's it. The, it's pretty simple um just keep in just keep in mind that you have the global groups which is your permissions groups you don't define or assign it to users here and you could even make this easier because but they have this this sorting method of per plugin um moderator vip whatever you i don't know whatever helps you keep it straight if you just want to have an overall group of default citizen vip admin that kind of stuff Whatever works for you, it's up to you. This is a very flexible plugin. So let's hop into the game and I'll show you a bit of what this all looks like. Here we are in this world created in a jung jungle biome, but um, I'm just gonna show you a few of the things. So by default, I am. it made my name yellow. I pointed at the screen like you'd see it. So anyway, in, in real life, I don't have the face cam as you could see. But anyway, the yellow or the uh, ampersand E turns the uh, username yellow. So to verify that we are um, the default group. So we can set our home because we have permission that permission note. 
but we can't uh, warp to home. However, if we go into the nether, which, oh my gosh, it's so scary. It's so scary, I wanna go home. You can go slash home, so that works. Pretty cool, huh? And then, let's see, um, let's do, um, I'm gonna opt myself, because I haven't actually opted. And then, um, some of the commands, we're gonna go over that uh, in-game commands. There's a ton of in-game commands, which is, they're really neat. They're they're pretty straightforward, and, and they kind of follow this um, this layout. If you are doing in-game commands with group manager, you do man or band, you know, manager. And then without a space, you're going to do U or G. So let's, I'm just going to put this in here. This won't be a valid command. So you specify whether you're talking about a user or a group. And then you're going to add, do add, delete, or list, or check. And then you're going to do... And then you do space, and then it's the variables. Well, wait, let's see. No space. There's no spaces in this whole business. And then you do your variables like P, I, V, sub. And that's how you would do that. So if I wanted to add myself to the VIP group, man, user, uh, user add, I think is what I'm going to do. Yeah, add. And then I'm going to specify my username and then the... I'm going to do VIP. You were moved to VIP. So now, um, since I'm op, it turned my name red. But um, you can see now we got the VIP thing. And now we can do slash home. There's a whole list of um, of uh, groups. There is actually... Time set zero. You can actually do subgroups, kind of like PEX, where you know PEX you do user group set. In this one, you do, um, what is it, man, let's see, manu, so that's a manual, or manager, user, and then you do uh, add sub, I think, yes, so then sub, and then cause, and then builder, let's say. So now, um, I'm part of both the builder group and the VIP group, so... I still have the VIP on the front, but I still I now have the permissions of um, of the builder group. Let me show you how you can check that. Here we go. So to uh, see the groups that the persons belong to, you go man, who is, and then it'll, they'll list what groups. So I'm uh, a part of the VIP, and then the subgroup builders. So that's it. There's a ton of other things. You can actually, you could build your entire permissions tree just like PEX using the user commands. You can add a group. So you can add a man add G or man G add actually. Man G, oops, add. And then you can add the group. So create a group named test. And you can set its inheritance. You can add it to... You can delete it. You can add permissions to it by um, man add p uh, test and then bucket dot kick. Um, nope, that's not it. Man add oh I forgot the g group add p test. There we go. And then that'll add that permission zone to it. So, like I said, you can build it all in here. You don't have to get into config files. Maybe if in case you don't really like working in those config files, um, that's fine. Uh, I would recommend using Notepad++ and working in those files. But that's how it goes. Um, I think that's about it. Hopefully that was helpful for you. It was really quick. Just wanted to make it as quick as possible. So please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you found it helpful. I'll put a download for this. I didn't really modify the permissions nodes much. So yeah, it'd probably be better just to download it and go with your own thing. I will, um, I don't know, probably by next week, I'll probably have the permissions nodes for group manager updated for the prison server build. Um, so you can download it for PEX or group manager. And uh, yeah, I'll put that link in here as well when it's ready. But um, that is all. So this is Costa McFriends, and as always, enjoy the game. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep. Oh, don't get run over. Yeah, I'm bringing an ambulance. <laughs> you are?
<laughs> I passed yeah. like four of them, so. Oh, oh, I just pushed him. Okay, that's.